little bit. You're trying to go for a ride on the quad. Nobody's there. Yeah, you. Trying to get up on the quad and go for a ride. We're putting in a new fence posts so that I don't get badly damaged in opening these swinging gates with sheep. So this is uh, the aquifer overflowing. In the winter it flows down towards the river. Anyway, so these are the fence posts now. So the gates, I can just step out of the way and the gates will swing open. So people like you, little bit, don't squish me. You can see the kind of ribs in the land, sort of where the sheep have made paths, right there. These are like ribs up the hill. And then you come along. Yeah, a little bit. How are you? So you can see the sheep paths slice the hill all the way along. They all decide when they're going to, uh, where they're going to walk or lie down. Everybody's looking well, full bellies. And the hay bale is looking fine. I don't have to work any, walk any further. How are you, Ebony? You good girl. All beginning to look very pregnant and heavy. Ebony, I'd say you're gonna have a single. You're not looking very heavy. No, you're not looking very heavy at all. No. Maggie, you're not in lamb, I hope. You better not be. Unless you get, did a sneaky thing through a fence somewhere. You're just fat. And the great white yoke down on the fence line all the way down there. Hopefully she's not in lamb either. They're too old.
So you can kind of see the ribs of the hill from the sheep tracks. You can see at the top there's one, there's another, there's another, there's another, there's another, here's another. So those are the ribs of the hill created by sheep. In other countries it's goats. There's ebony. And here's a little bit. There you can see the ribs of the hill in a more defined way. It's hard to see. The best time is when it snows and you can really see the ribs of the hill. So you can see all the different pathways the years have made over the years going around the bre breast of the hill. <laughs> 